Oh, Disney! Are you regretting buying 20th Century Fox now? We shall see. So, X-Men Dark Phoenix is stated to have directly led to Disney's large third quarter loss. Now, there was a very recent Disney's earning call. So, it's just an earnings call down to all the board members and things like that. CEO Bob Iger revealed that Dark Phoenix was partly to blame for their third quarter loss amounting to $170 million in operating costs. Because of this, the House of Mouse then decided that they were going to refocus output. Now, there are some interesting things that they were focusing on, which we'll touch on in a minute. Just briefly, it's Avatar and Planet of the Apes, but never mind. Now, why was X-Men Dark Phoenix such a monumental loss for the studio? Well, it had a rumoured all but confirmed $200 million production budget. Now, it only took home $252 million. So even if we don't factor into the fact factor into the fact that we have marketing budgets on top of that, we also, we also have ticket stubs, we also have theatre percentage takes, things like that. It was a loss. Anyway, it was a loss. But then you factor all of that on top of it, hundreds of millions of loss. Huge. Just ginormous. Um... I highly doubt Simon Kinberg is going to get work now. Really, really highly doubt it. Uh, it was interesting that they even chose to do this. I'm surprised that Disney decided to release it. But I would imagine that part and parcel of the acquisition, certain movies potentially still had to be released. Um, and as well, I guess, well, a lot of people were thinking that for Disney, they wouldn't have lost any money because they didn't put any money into it. But I guess because the asset is theirs, them losing money on it is a direct loss for them, which obviously then needs to be reported on in these earnings calls. So it is very, very interesting that this, you know, happened. Um, obviously, Dark Phoenix isn't the only one to blame for Disney. And also as well, um, cry me a river. I don't care that Disney's, you know, down on profits. Who gives a crap? Um, I don't think anyone cares, to be honest. Not, you know, no one's going to cry over it. You're crying over spilled milk there. These people are absolutely rolling in the cash. So, look, there were other things, you know, there was Stuber, the kid who would be king. A lot of Fox wasn't really doing that well at the box office at the time. I think there was reports that they had a, an operating loss, which is like a consistent loss, uh, which is madness. But anyway, there you go. Brief bit of news. We will touch on some of the other interesting snippets of information that came out of the earnings call throughout the day on these videos i will just say just straight from the outset if you are new here make sure you hit subscribe stay up to date on the world of pop culture movie news by hitting the bell notification icon but if you are a or a returning subscriber and i seem a little bit tired i was up all night buying a project car for the channel yes i know very left field it's another one of my passions and i want to do some videos on it so expect some videos coming very, very soon, especially a reveal video. It is the cheapest, no spoilers, but it is the cheapest forged engine car of its type in the UK. Um, but it's not without its problems, which will become very, very evident when I do the videos. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that because that should be quite good fun. But anyway, I've rambled enough. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like. Please do share it. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Mr. H. Take care.